Hi, I'm Tanner Henry, Water Department and Assistant Public Works Director for the Town of Payson. I'd like to take you on a tour of our water treatment plant today, introduce you to some of our operators, and show you how the water that comes from 26 miles north of Payson comes in and goes through our process. Well, as we've walked a couple hundred feet here to get to the hydro building, this is one of the unique things about this project because it, we generate our own power here. Hi, I'm Dennis Wisthazen with the Town of Payson Water Department, here to show you some of the ins and outs of our great hydro system that we have here at our treatment plant in Payson, Arizona. Right here, our, our raw water enters our treatment plant all the way from the CZ Craig and Reservoir, giving us the ability to take up some of this 200 PSI plus head of water pressure that we have here. And with utilizing that pressure that we get from that tail race all the way down here, we can make power right here at our hydro building. Um, I can show you right behind you here is all the great features of this hydro plant. And right over here, that water comes in at 200 plus PSI through a needle valve and then enters into the Pelton wheel, letting the Pelton wheel, which is basically just a big wheel with paddles on it, turning with all that velocity, reducing the head off that pipe and dropping into a vault underneath. That energy loss is caught and captured by this generator right here, producing power for our facility. This specific generator produces about 170 kilowatt, which is enough energy to run the majority of our plant, if not our entire plant, depending on what processes we're running at that exact time. And as all that water enters into this Pelton wheel, it's deflected from hitting that Pelton wheel and it's dropped into a basin under here, and then it gravity feeds into our system, but nicely into a tank over there that then begins the treatment process. But in case of emergencies or any shutdown, with power outages, lightning strikes, anything like that, we do have this deflector plate over here that instantly drops down, cutting the Pelton wheel, removing it from the grid, and the generator no longer produces electricity, which makes it safe for everybody. And this here is our bypass Bailey valve. It not only acts as uh, and the secondary path for our water, due to the fact that our hydro can only handle so much flow, this one actually picks up the slack and we can get to our full amount of water that we need to treat to serve the town. And the internals of this valve right here will let us remove that head of pressure safely inside of this chambers right here to not cavitate and damage our pipe. Because 200 plus PSI can actually damage a pipeline trying to remove that pressure from it. And this valve is designed to do just that thing. And over here you have our control panel that makes sure that we produce a good clean energy and if we go outside of any preset parameters it will automatically shut the hydro generator down letting us assist the situation from there and this screen right here ties this system into our SCADA system letting us monitor all those parameters remotely and it'll also call us out or alert us if there's anything happening out here that's outside of the parameters that we would like to see Here's the outlet of the hydro generator. The pipe goes another couple hundred feet this way on down to the raw water tank and flocculation tank at the next step. So here we are entering the raw water and flocculation basin. The raw water enters one side where on my right hand side we have raw water storage which acts as a shock absorber in case we have to close valves or anything and it's divided by a wall and on the left side is the flocculation basin and what that does is it takes all the little bitty particles in the water brings them together and forms bigger clumps that can be filtered out in the process this is one of my favorite spots on the treatment plant because as you can see it's got a really good view so after all the clumps have been formed in the flocculation basin the pipeline comes underneath the ground through the asphalt here and right into the corner of the building where the real treatment starts. Hi, my name is Gordon Dimbat, Water Quality and Treatment Manager for the Town of Payson Water Department. We are now in the main treatment building. Behind me are feed pumps which receive water directed from our flocculation tanks that is going to direct it through strainers to remove large pieces of debris that is then going to direct it to our filtration module. Water comes from the strainers through these pipes traveling along the bottom where it enters in the bottom portion of the modules. As the water travels up through the bottom of the modules, it is able to filter out particle sizes many times smaller than the size of the human hair. 
where it then is able to filter out approximately 4.5 million gallons a day and it encompasses roughly 280 modules on four racks. Water enters into the bottom portion of the modules where it goes through thousands of strands of fibers, each individually producing water from the outside to the inside of the strand. As the water enters from the bottom of the rack into the bottom of the module, it processes up through the top where the filtrate is then directed to the back of the building where granulated activated carbon further polishes a portion of it. This is our CO2 injection system that we use to adjust the pH of the water so that way it blends with basin. And then we run it through the lime inject to harden it up a little bit. So then that way, when it goes in the town of Payson system, it blends without dissolving the stuff in the town of Payson. Well, at this point, the water is finished in the finished water tank and it's ready to be sent to town. So it comes out of here and goes through this valve into the building. And then from the building, it then gets forced by pumps into Payson. This is our waste storage basin where discharges from the treatment process come and they, in essence, wait while they're metered out to the local sanitation district. This is our storm water detention basin where whenever it rains, water runs off the site into this basin and fills it up and then it gets metered out slowly into the county roadside ditch. This is the main lift station. It's where all of the waste from our treatment process goes. Water gets neutralized in this basin and it either goes back to the clarifier where we reuse 90% of the water or it gets sent from here to the local golf course. So this is our salt water brine tank where we have salt water because that's another unique thing about this project is we actually make our own sodium hypochlorite or bleach to disinfect the water. This is our recovery clarifier where we have the backwash water that comes out of the filters, it goes into this basin and it separates out the clean water from the sludge. The, the clean water then gets recycled back to the beginning of the treatment plant to go through the process and then the sludge layer in the bottom goes to waste and with this we recover about 90% of our water. Well this is the final departure from the treatment plant. It leaves the distribution pumps in the treatment building, comes up this way and heads straight out that direction, straight to the town of Payson.